growing arena towards better flight simming. Here we are, right now, at an almost perfect state at Microsoft Flight Simulator. I trust you all are having a wonderful day. Before we begin, I would like to welcome you to the aviation community. If you haven't subscribed yet, I suggest you do by clicking on the bell button for future releases on this regard. Can you truly imagine yourself experiencing every bit of the earth in real life weather and with a million users together? Ever since day one, it's been more than exciting. The recent update 6 was out two days ago that addressed few of the list of bugs Asobo had in place. Based on the performance of the simulator, the current state looks quite good, of course with a few bugs left in place, from minor problems to major ones. The latest development update gives us a good picture of where Asobo stands in terms of how well they've been progressing, what their plans are, and what their next steps would be towards maintenance and operations. With a brand new approach towards flight simming, Microsoft certainly will build larger plans towards how better they can be with the help of research and development within the community support. The product has been launched and real work has begun. The latest trend shows more interest towards this line of gaming. I hope you all got a chance to try the recent community event of the guided tour of Rome in Italy. We should look forward for more invites coming along with various other interesting sites. Asobo and Microsoft can focus on getting a broader perspective of where they can take the simulator towards in the future with the current growing demand. Imagine having more than a million users in the simulator who's engaged quite often over social media of how spectacular their journey of flights have been. This is definitely a message coming across from the community towards Asobo as well as Microsoft. Looking at this week, it currently appears that the fixes under patch 1.10.11.0 have addressed bugs that have been on the spotlight. It looks like Asobo will be bringing out another enhancement update which is update 7 that includes various other fixes in different areas of the application. Based on last week's schedule under development roadmap for update 7, this was planned for a November 24th release. However, this looks like things have delayed slightly and hope to see the update for this in the coming week. We are yet to see what areas would be specifically addressed under this patch. But looking at the spotlight that brings Cessna citation, the performance issues can be hopefully addressed in the upcoming patch. The ATC still has issues where the responses are not accurate and are quite fast when trying to communicate with the end user. This has not been fixed yet. Along with that, cosmetic areas of the application under thunder and lightning, where users would experience extreme scenarios of thunder and lightning have begun fixes. We don't have an update about whether this fix would be included in the upcoming patch. Another part of the cosmetic areas of the code include grainy textures as well as reflections which users experience on ultra mode. This should certainly be on the spotlight of bugs and would be addressed soon. There are many items on the list that have been backlogged, which we certainly expect to be fixed in the coming future. However, there's no set time frame for all these different bugs to be developed as of yet. As for the closed beta via invitations, watch for your inboxes if you've applied as Asobo plans to send them out this afternoon. It looks like the current set of testers are many and hence Asobo plans on closing out the list of testers in the current batch. Something of interest is the World Update 2. Yes, this is focused on the United States and is planned for the 24th of November release. We should hope to see many more exciting features like how World Update 1 included features all around the beautiful country of Japan. Under the SDK update, there have been many improvements time and again, now focusing on the console interface areas. This would be implemented in production soon as the team is in the closing phase for code. There is work in progress under areas like project editors. Under the node-based visual effects systems, there have been some performance issues as the team have found bugs within the system which is not allowing them to provide them effectively to the third-party developer community. The WebAssembly aspect have seen work in progress as they have been trying to align the interests of third-party developers. 
Third party categories have always seen growth and now Honeycomb is in the spotlight for the list of partners. This wing of the application have seen progress that appears to be bigger by the week. So far this week, 70 partners have been approved in the partner program. We have seen varieties of add-ons not just in the marketplace but also other vendor websites such as SimMarket who have welcomed these developers. With the current list of 80 airports that are available for purchase, the projected numbers are to be an additional 150 airports that are currently in developments which are being planned in 2021. Under the aircraft section of the marketplace, we have about 7 of them that are currently available for purchase. With an additional 60 aircrafts in developments, it looks like the marketplace would be a busy stop for all of us. The amount of interest that has been gained since August 17th has been quite tremendous. Not just from Osobo or third party developers, but also from the communities who have played a key role. Huge thanks to communities as they have not only given incredible ideas towards finding out better ways of approaching this simulator. This has led towards more advancements at the same time increased more opportunities for themselves. Amongst the entire community, a few of the community members have taken more interest in developing something themselves for Microsoft Flight Simulator. One of them is the introduction for the World Tour Flight Plans. If you're interested in flight plans on visiting the best places in the world, bookmark this site to view the best spots in the world. You can find the link to this in the description below. It's quite an interesting feature that has been considered an asset to the application with the idea of pre-built flight plans depending on what really interests you. Blue Feather has developed this amazing website where one can find any type of flight plan amongst the huge list of plans. You can filter the flight plan in the options and download any of these flight plans. Once you're on the application, you can load this file to fly that route. I would strongly recommend this as it's a beautiful plan towards touring the world. If you have any idea of what you want to develop towards a simulator, something that can help the flight simming community, Feel free to sign up for the forums on Microsoft Flight Simulator and come up with your own development. With more than 1200 developers who have constantly progressed over the last 12 weeks, this has improved very well on the outcomes of experiencing a much better simulator. It wouldn't be surprising to see Microsoft Flight Simulator to be a world-class product in the days to come. Looking at the prospect, things look more positive as they have been shaping up quite well. While there were some road bumps with performances and issues on different releases of patches, we should rather look at it as a learning curve as this has certainly given Osobo an opportunity to improve themselves and be better players out there. Well that's pretty much up for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe for more updates coming along the way. A thumbs up for this video can always matter to me. Have a good rest of the day and stay tuned.